Oshukin now to Uncle Muntinga Nyako. It's because you gave birth to everybody. They wouldn't be umlong with China. Remember, Guti, the only female um, uh, that is capable of producing in China, India, Nongo, Mutum Nyama. Why? Because of the mitochondria. What DNA. It's a strand of a DNA okay. that gives that a black woman that ability. Mm. It's only an African and I see him go his hand. This is the Hustlers Corner. Hello world, welcome to the Hustlers Corner. This is a virtual mkuku, a place where we are a community of um I would say like-minded people who would like to um, see our audiences grow in different ways, spiritually, um, financially, and all sorts of different ways in JS. The first thing we do as usual, we go straight to that shop shop sign on the count of one, two, three, click, 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 click. Thank you very much. Let's go into the subscription button as well. Click as well as your uh, notification bell. Now we listen. As we did say myself and Peniel that you guys can write comments, you can suggest some people you'd like to have here. A lot of you guys have been asking for Umkulun Singiza, so we've decided to go get him and he's sitting here today. Uh, for those who don't know, Umkulun Singiza is the CEO of the Zinzi Mandela Foundation. He's, the, um, he's also the co-founder of the Zinzi Mandela Foundation, co-founder of the Kemet African Calendar. He'll tell us a little bit more about it and he's also the student of Umkulu. For me now, Ukoko is not even Umkulu or Ubaba. Umkulu or Ukoko credo mutua, Ubab Vusa Mazulu. And um, he is pushing the philosophy. Would like to welcome him. But before I do that, I have to welcome my co-host. How are you doing, bro? Excellent, Buddha. I'm good. good, how are you? I'm not. No, I'm, I'm good, I'm blessed. Uh, I'm quite excited about the conversation we're going to have today. Mm. Um, and I've already learned a lot from Umkulu. I'm hoping to learn a whole lot more and to also just plant my few nyana seeds to the agenda. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for him on all of our previous episodes there's his name all over the comments yes. and um, I can already tell why they want him so bad because we've had a chat off air and it was interesting to already see some disagreements between you and him ah. as well. <laughs> don't expose me <laughs> which is a great opportunity for all of us to learn because you know? yes. this is a teachable moment um, I hope I'm, I'm not the youngest guy in the world but I hope to speak for some younger people who feel like there's a disconnect with the elder generations. Um, I'm also quite excited that uh, our community out there of virtual Mkuku asked for Mkulu. It shows that they want to feed their minds. They want to liberate their minds. They want to learn more. And they have spoken about human libraries. Mkulu is a great example of a human library that we're going to learn from. And Jobang Nyusha about planting the seeds. I hope I will speak for some of the young people of potentially where some of the disconnects may be where we're losing each other. <laughs> no, we'd like to humble ourselves. Yes, <laughs> as well Simbonge for the work that she's done mm. for the work that you've done in creating the foundation and for the education and of course i think just from our side just what work do you do for the zinzi mandela foundation and more than anything you speak very much about the kingdom of kermit and the calendar as a, as a base yes. so if we can maybe start there yes um i'm the ceo and co-founder of the zinzi mandela foundation uh, found that, uh, you know, um, uh, or the motivation behind that was then, uh, you know, important after the work that uh, we had, uh, you know, uh, discovered ourselves through our interaction, both of us, our interaction with Ubabu Kredo, were then, uh, you know, um, 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 uh, uh, quite, uh, you know, clear that uh, we need to re-educate, you know, uh, our African, you know, people so that uh, they know you know, Ubukulu Nobu 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 Banzibabo. You know, um, uh, because the apartheid and colonization has actually messed up our minds for us to have this inferior inferiority complex. You know, um, and the fear that uh, you know has been instilled. So it was a uh, motivation for us in Lovugazi at No Mkulu. The amount of work that uh, we have gathered all over the continent 
you know, we've interacted uh, with uh, so many people all over, you know, the world, uh, you know, in the UK, Abu Farrakhan, no, in the US, Abu Farrakhan, in the UK, all the, you know, the people who are responsible for um, um, babies in February, uh, African History, okay. African History Month. Month. Yes, so Struggle said to has been, uh, you know, to gather information and that information use it to reawaken, you know, uh, African people and the continent itself because um, uh, uh, the, the thing is that we cannot rise with uh, somebody's content. Yes. We must rise with our own content and uh, upon discovering Guti, Tina as African people, we are the firstborns. We are the ones that actually civilized the whole world. You know, uh, mm. like, uh, you know, we're talking on the other episodes, Nusbu. There's no uh, Western civilization, but African civilization, because all those Roman and the Greek philosophers were taught by Africans. Yes. So it was important in Jovgaz, Yati, Yati Mkulu, let us, let us form this foundation. But manje under this foundation, there is, there is another arm, which is the implementation arm of the vision of the Zinzi Mandela Foundation, which is the great empire of Kemet. Mm. This is where we want to unite all Africans, because uh, if you uh, research um, uh, the history of the great empire of Kemet, it was uh, you know, uh, 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 formed by kingdoms all over the continent. They unified to form um, uh, the great empire of Kemet. Ubabu Kredo speak about uh, you know, uh, this uh, you know, empire. And uh, he says, on the southern part of Kemet, yeah, uh, they used to call themselves Bonabakulu Basekemu. Mm. You know, it was the brotherhood mm. of the continent that they formed. These are the people who were responsible for a civilization of the whole world, not only of Africa, but the whole world. He West got his foundation from these royal, uh, you know, people. Mm. Uh, Af African royalty, we can give credit for civilizing, uh, you know, the whole world. You talk about science, you talk about mathematics, you talk about the calendar, mm. you talk about, uh, you know, uh, everything, you know, that uh, the West has got its foundation from here on the continent. Yes, I had an incident back in high school all those years back mm. where I was being shouted at by a white choir mistress. She was speaking to me and I was looking down and she asked me, why are you disrespecting me? Look <laughs> me in the eyes when I speak to you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, where I come from, I'm from Dallas, I'm from you know, so uh, I'm, I'm finding myself in Saab, I'm from Dallas, I'm from Dallas, I'm from Dallas, I'm from Dallas, I'm from Dallas. You know, just based on what you're saying, when you speak about the, the great kingdom of, or the great empire of Kermit, for Abantabangazi, would you say Kermit is a person's name, was the name of what we called Africa? Where do people like, and I've heard this name before, where people like oh, Imhotep come in? Yes, uh, Kermit means black. Okay. And it refers to the land of Africa and its people. So you Africa, know, Kermit? Yes, yes. The whole of the continent is Kermit. Okay. That is why the southern part of the Kermit, um, uh, uh, the people who were actively or the kingdoms that were responsible or part of the great empire call themselves Bonabakulu Base Kemu. Kemu means black. So it means, uh, you know, um, uh, the whole of the continent and its people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also refers to the chemical, uh, you know, that we have. We call uh, melanin. Melanin. You know, uh, melanin, as you know, is the most important chemical of the universe. Mm -hmm. What is known as dark matter, it is that melanin. And I believe, uh, you know, the very same melanin is used to cover, you know, the spaceship when they go, uh, you know, why? Because it's a very effective, you know, molecule that uh, sends and receives uh, information. So this is what we have naturally as African people. We are, you know, just a living robot. Jeez. <laughs> if you watch the movie Black, Black Panther, they speak about a mineral called vibranium. Yes. There's a chance that they may, may have been inspired That's by... It. Melanin. That's yeah. it. Because vibranium is what's used on Captain America's That's shield it. and all those they, they things. They would switch That's the name it. just for the movie. Yes, just for yes. the movie. Yeah, but with what he's saying as well, I'd like to know, where does then the name Alkebulan come from? Alkebulan, uh, it's one of those names, uh, you know, uh, that he emerged. 
you know, uh, amongst especially, I learned it from, uh, you know, uh, American, uh, you know, black scholars who had uh, done extensive research on the continent. So that was uh, one of the names they found. Uguti Africa was once called al Kebulan. But uh, a, a, a name that, that has a backing of so much, of so much heritage, of so much knowledge, it's Kemet. Okay. You know, because all the information, when you talk about science, you talk about mathematics, you talk about, uh, you know, uh, just uh, natural, you know, science. All that information is written in what is called Medu Nature. That is the language, our own, Medu you know, nature. classical language. It's called Medu Nature. Medu -nature. And in Medu Nature, when you go back to e research, that was done by a, a friend to Sheikh Hunter Diop, you know, a Dr. Theophile Obenga, you know, from the DRC, used to work in Sheikh Hunter Diop. They found Uguti Medu Nature, you know, unites all the languages on, of the continent. So it means, Guti, in our liberation and our re-emergence, you know, as parents again of humanity, we need to go back and relearn mm. that, uh, you know, language. So Kemet for me, you know, it has a backing of science, it has a backing of mathematics, it has a backing of astrology, astronomy, mm. everything is linked. And remember, Ubabu Kredu said, Kemet didn't begin where fools think you know, uh, 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 he did. He said uh, a lot of people think Kemet started, uh, you know, in the northern uh, part of the continent, which is called now Egypt. He says Kemet started here. In the, in south. the south. Because apparently the map is actually yes. upside down. Jeez. Uh, but, but, but even besides uh, the map, he Kemet started here, Ubabu Credo points out, you know, in Zaloyelang. Ubabu Credo points out to put their, 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 their artifacts where there are symbols all over Natal, you know, I'm a, I'm a Anglang, mm. you know, and the symbols, uh, you know, of uh, our great kings, because it then says, it builds up with your Ruguti civilization started here. And uh, not only is Babu Credo, you know, right, but we have the evidence in Zaloyelang. In Zaloyelang and also... Is what they would call now the Adam's calendar in Pumalang. Yes, yes, it? which is a, you know, messed up name. <laughs> Ubabu Kredo didn't like that name. <laughs> in Zaloyelang, Ubabu Kredo Uti, Umazisi Kazi. Mm. You know, as a great informer. Mm. Uguti, where we are in terms of our revolution around the sun. In terms of our seasons. Because these seasons are based on the proximity between, her, you know, uh, uh, Earth and the sun. Uh, which then makes certain energies prevalent at a particular time. Then you have what is called the Libombo bone, a mathematical, you know, instrument, which was found uh, in Aseswazi. Um, uh, there are two bones like that. Mm. There's the Libombo, then there's the Shango bone. The Libombo bone is older than the Shango. It means it's the same, very same people that left the south, went, uh, you know, up until they reached, you know, um, uh, uh, in northern, uh, you know, Kemet, which is Egypt. That is where all the minds of the continent assembled, which is why now that energy or lo moya loyo bose kemit is no longer there now. Uselindong lo moya ula. That is why you'll find uh, you know in e e South Africa or the southern part of the Kem of Kemet e, e magnet. Yes. You know for all the brains of the continent. Abo Lenduza, when you talk about uh, the great scientists. Abo Abo Imhotep, you'll find that um, Abo Imhotep have been reborn, and those people are here. Mm. These people are that are from all over the continent. So Tina, as uh, as people are here in the southern, you know, part of the continent, we need to show leadership mm. because all the resources that we need. Remember, Kemet was great because it it was a unity, mm. you know, a union of a great African minds. So that union, it's here now because they are following the energy that was there in the, in the north, but now it's in the south mm -hmm. where it all began. So it's a complete revolution of a people, uh, you know, because Tina, we are the living ancestors. You might be, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, who am I not You might be, <laughs> who knows, yes. who knows? 
But you see, born and ani, yes, enzo zomundo. Yes. Ukuti lo mundo lo does exactly the same thing that you Imotep was doing, or does exactly the same thing that you Babu Credo is doing. Si born and enzo, and nothing else. Umunda ngakchela makama a thousand part. If his enzo zake zhamba, zhamba against what he says, then it means nothing. Sabonga hmm. Babu. I, I wanted to ask, since you're speaking about South Africa being <laughs> the cradle of humankind, I wanted to ask about the cradle of humankind. Does that also form part of the heritage? And I've heard in Jobukulumang, I'm a magnet, where uh, some friends of mine who are into space uh, research, rocket science, they've actually spoken about parts of, I think, the Free State, yes. which has this magnetic pull, which is unique globally. Oh, oh no, sure, sure. B Buga, Buga Kesh. Uh, la in South Africa. Yes. There's so much scientific knowledge that we still have to discover. Mm. Look, it was, uh, you know, shocking to me to find that uh, Abantu in government don't know about Inzaloela. <laughs> Do you understand? And uh, Inzaloela, it's one of those scientific sites that we need to study as African people because Oh, oh, Coco Bay, you didn't just build that site, mm. you know, um, um, uh, by chance. They had to calculate where they put that, uh, you know, those uh, structures. Mm. It's along what is called the Golden Meridian, meaning Guti, that is where, you know, the male and the female energies of Earth meet. Mm. You know, lo, lo muka, lo yo usuka le e phoenix, uzu yo shaya le kemit in the Great uh, Pyramid of Giza. So it's along the same line. And uh, oh, Coco Bay, they put mega structures, you know, to, to then uh, inform people, good, these are, are the centers where you can go and revive yourself, where you can go and balance yourself, mm -hmm. you know. So it's very important for us to actually see Benama African, especially in Nai youth. Yes. You, it is your duty to actually make a research about this thing because remember uh, uh, Nikola Tesla. Yes. When Nikola Tesla proved, you know, the workings of the pyramids, why the pyramids were built. You know, that is why Umedicine and the American people, they ended up closing that because he was now bringing scientific evidence, you know, as to why pyramids were built. These uh, structures were supposed to give us free electricity. So, yeah. Free electricity. Jeez. But now we are sitting on our pyramids, the oldest pyramids are older than the pyramids of Giza. Those that are there next to Inzaloela and La Pimpumalang. So we need, we need scientific research for us to research all these uh, sacred sites, Ubab Kreda Kulmengas, because these are sites, Esingati, these are chakras, you know, uh, of the universe. And uh, those chakras, he lays Ezila in the southern part of Kemet. Did our ancestors build the pyramids or were they built by, as people would say, aliens? Oh, no, no, no. Pyramids uh, were built by us. I mean, who uh, lend us a sheikh and that you proved that scientifically. In 1974, it was him and Theophilo Banga that challenged the Western stereotype to say that uh, Africa is a dark continent. Mm. He proved uh, La Pawayusa, a model of testing for any uh, in the, in the, in the, you know, Kula Mamami of uh, the, our kings. Yes. They were testing for melanin content. Oh, and uh, he the proved Gucci, all of them, those uh, kings that ruled the uh, Kemi had melanin. Mm. And uh, we are the only people African. So you can't then say because you want to keep Africa and African down. Then uh, you accredit, uh, you know, their work to aliens. <laughs> Any connection with the uh, pyramids in Mexico, pyramids in Sudan, pyramids in Egypt, let me say pyramids from all over the world, is that also part of a proof you to our ancestors were all over the world way before the likes of your Columbuses of this world? Oh no, sure, sure certainly you must, uh, you must uh, research um, uh, Ivan van Sertima. Ivan van Sertima Uti, uh, uh, other races started appearing only about 60 thousand years ago but before that the whole world was black why because uh, we are the first people mm. and uh, everybody else came from us so Tina we are the prototype in yeah. we need to re uh, uh, establish our position and take our rightful place in the world of being parents remember Kutumlung and everybody else can never teach you anything to understand 
Because Utole Foundation here from you. You just need to know yourself, who you are. Know yourself then. You will be able to build a better, you know, and a harmonious future for the continent. Why does Ethiopia have got a different calendar from the rest of the world? Oh no, um, uh, remember Guti, Ethiopia. E Ethiopia, Ethiopia, they still stuck to e calendar yabo. And uh, if you can notice, e calendar yabo, Unyaga also starts in September. Do you understand? Remember Guti, why Ethiopia is one of those countries that were no, never colonized. Never colonized yes. So they retained, the, the, you know, their connection with nature. But now, after some time, they found themselves because the 11th, when you uh, research Uguti Waigunga 11, you'll find that, uh, you know, it was a political decision. Okay. But the month, year. Spring. Yes, the month, year. Mm. But scientifically, it's on the 23rd okay. of uh, September. Why? Because um, there is what is called um, um, uh, the spring equinox. Mm. The spring equinox, it means Uguti the sun is officially leaving the Northern Hemisphere. Seli la manje on the Southern Hemisphere. Mm. Remember, Gutum Saba is divided. You know, um, uh, Gabili, there is the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. Yes. It means manje ilang alisa Northern Hemisphere. Mm. And uh, on the 21st of uh, September, it makes, uh, you know, um, uh, m it moves uh, officially from the Northern Hemisphere goes through what is called the imaginary line of the equator. Yes. And that takes three days. So it's the 21st, 22nd, the 23rd. It makes one degrees southwards, which yes. then uh, indicates a new cycle for the southern hemisphere. So Africa should have its own calendar. Oh, no, we, we have. We're working on a calendar that's not ours. No, no, sure. That is why, uh, you know, it's part of your colonization because when you accept a, a Western construct, which is a system that we're under, it came with everything. You know, it came with its own calendar. It's because it's wrong. Do you understand? Yes. We're not supposed to partake in the, there's this thing that is coming now, they call e Easter. <laughs> e Easter is a festivity that welcomes the sun for the northern hemisphere. Yes. It has nothing to do with us. So, Tinage, Siemilinde, Lapa, it means Uguti, we are going to um, uh, re energize the Matos, Abelung, Uguti, they must continue to colonize us. Is it what they would call pagan holidays? Well, uh, you know, when you talk about paganism, well, how it started that term? It's everybody, I mean, Jengam. I'm a pagan, according to the Westerners. Yes. Do you understand? You are not a part of, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, what is in the mainstream yes. in terms of a religion. 100%. So that is how paganism started. So, we are pagans, you know, because we are people who believe in nature <laughs> and nothing else. I'm an Africa believe in nature. They don't believe in anybody's philosophy. What does nature say? This is how we named our months in our calendar. Skalang mm. Mandu. Mm. Hey, season on Fufu, season on Lues, season on Zibantel. We are Nazo because we are describing what is prevalent in, in the nature. environment. You know, it's not like about, about, about Julius Caesar, July. It's a month named after, you know, this guy. So it means the more we, 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 we mention these names, we, the more we are giving power mm. to that uh, negative frequency. Because that's not the frequency that aligns with us naturally. So we need to go back to nature and call, you know, um, uh, December. Why? Because you are describing good the, 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 the grow, it growth. It's a, it's a month of maturity. You can no longer see the pathway. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Hey. So are you saying we actually are celebrating wrong holidays? Oh, no, no, definitely. Are you saying we are off alignment? We are. We, we are twisted. That's why we will go to church, see your son. Do you understand? So that you become twisted. Yes. Hey, we are twisted exactly. And uh, it's not me or Okokobet, but it's science. It's science says the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. 
Upper say Northern Hemisphere can't do ceremonies that say Southern Hemisphere. Upper say Southern Hemisphere can't do ceremonies that say Northern Hemisphere. It's just simple like that. A great, a great mind that I admire, that I know you've sat with, Joshua Maponga, um, has created a, an organization and a movement called Farmers of Thought. And having sat with him a couple of times, one of his ambitions and his visions mm. is to create an online portal that collects all of this information mm. so that young people know where to go. Because it's nice for us to sit here and talk. Someone out there like me is getting goosebumps and saying, but where do I go? Where do I start? I'm not sure if that's part of the work that you're doing. Oh, no, I'm not no, sure if you... It is, uh, Tina. We are living a parallel system already. Okay. The calendar, say, I feel like because the calendar is not just an ornament for us. The calendar, umazisagazi, it tells us and informs us what season are we in and uh, what is the energy that we need to vibrate with for that season and how to connect to that season. So, see, I feel like the, uh, the parallel system. In don't just say, Lindy, the black unity. We have to demonstrate a black unity so that, uh, you know, we unite outside politics and religion. See, unite uh, based on the calendar. Mm. Because if you look at, at the core of who we are, mm. remember that only grows in December. Yes. That only grows in March. It means that each and every season in Abantubayo, in nature, in nature, you know, it just harmonizes uh, so perfectly. But I belong, but it's so silly, lapo, from being in harmony with nature. But if I got manje, buga manje, into ba abati ba ba chelenge Easter. Singe na bugu Easter thing. Singe na bugu Easter. Yeah, we are in the southern hemisphere. We're not supposed to partake in those things. When you do such things. It means we are, we are demonstrating how, how colonized you still are. Mm. Because you still believe. Because you what? Yes. Even if in nature you have piggies along. Look at what happens in December. Look at Christmas. <laughs> because it's summer here. Yes, for the Christmas wasn't built for us. <laughs> it's summer. <laughs> yeah. So it's just love because it's winter yeah, outside. Yeah. So those are the things. See, 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 reflect upon as African people, especially in the youth. In future, yeah, in my case. Yes. Remember, Uti Abutiyeti. Utiyeti was 19 years old when he shook the government Gaposa. Why last up hands? Who the Siba liberated now? It's because of of Ilendoza, the warrior spirit. Yes. Abutiyeti. So, Nani, you've got to demonstrate. Nobody gives you power. You take power. Those are facts. He not mele ni mobilize because I went there cool. Mina nya hamba in no time. He ne ni zosala, but in zosala as slaves now. Even if he say ni zuile, are you going to perpetuate? Lendo ya beli unguti ni na you are nothing. Inga ne zenu na zosi zokula in poverty, just like what uh, you know we we, we did. Why? Because you know, Baba, we defeated uh, you know our decision in '94. Decisions that were supposed to be taken in '94, they were deferred. Yingaku and this mess that we are in. Is the current political um, system or structure good for black people? It can never be good, Kesh. It can never be good because Ubuntu. When you talk about the Republic of South Africa, you are talking about Ubuntu. Not only am, am I saying this. EUN in 1974. They declared South Africa as crime against humanity. They were not talking about individual. They were talking about a system which is still well and alive today. That is the system that we need to deal with. You know, in order for us, because I was ukalelum slava, unga destroy the system. The system here, o kokobed, o our fathers, they they knew. When they took a conscious decision, they want to preside over this theft. All of them, from Mkwame Nkrumah, they knew exactly what they were doing. Ukuti, they were locking Umdom Nyama into this thing. And uh, that will take forever. Weren't our ANC leaders aware when they were taking they were, they were All of them, they were aware. And uh, remember, Kuti, South Africa, when you talk about the Commonwealth, you're talking about Amma countries that belong to the Queen. Fact. East South Africa still belongs to the Queen. 
It means Uguti ANC and everybody when they negotiated, they negotiated Namapunu, who were managers of the system. That's exactly what Aubab Mwelet Mbeki was saying. Right? Yes. They were managers of the system. The real rail owners in Doxa Mele Ishtakazwela Parliament, Uguti Ungu Queen, she's still the head of this country. Is that the reason, Anjali, when we've got a, a new president? There? <laughs> if you can campaign as a South African president, who campaign who would know when you want to change the, uh, the constitution, you will never see the day of being a president. Mm. Having said that, Ubabu Andile Mkutama, whom we hosted a couple of um, weeks ago, mm. said something along those lines, Nangi Mbuza, Mbuza Nangi President Yagabab Jacob Zoom. And then he mentioned something along the lines of, Nankulumu Nguti President Yake Beinjan, Ubaba. Wakulumu Nguti, Yinga Ako Ubaba, Beba against the Naranje. Is it any solel? Eh, it any so it means Uguti. You see, um, Sholot, eh, somehow, ye go over Nanking, eh, Moba. They could no longer control him. Do you understand? It means Um, Sholot, Usar Uketa Banyabantu, Uguti Bam Surround. You know, meaning Uguti, the old guard was no longer having access. Yinga Kobo Rupete were mad, you know, when, uh, you know, they had uh, Ugutum Sholozi, uh, he's talking about land, he's talking about bricks, he's talking about all these things, do you understand? But he was conscious, because Mokka Tanjo, Ugutum Sholozi, President, Meluye la Pepritain, Uyo Swera la Pagukuin Uguti, I'm not going to touch your investment, I'm not going to touch, you know, the issue of the land. The ANC had a two-thirds majority. Did they change the constitution no. to bring back our land? No. It didn't. Why? Because that would have upset the Queen. I mean, whoever, would, even Utahata, would have, uh, you know, been called a, co a communist again mm -hmm. had he taken that decision. So everybody who sits in that uh, president, they know very well uh, they are perpetuating a colonization of, uh, you know, black people. There's nothing good that can come out of, uh, you know, that structure. That structure has to be dismantled. Sita ale soonke. Ama kosi, ama politicians, na oonke umuntu, you know, who have a stake mm. in the black, uh, you know, people's, uh, you know, life. And come up and, and build uh, something new. Are you saying, Uguti, it doesn't matter who becomes president, the system continues? Never. Bangashinja na baze babe hanre, tumtom nyama will remain like this as long as the system, you know, still stands. So we need to unite. We need to unite outside the structuralists. Because who prevent us? Uba ni oso zvimba uguti sonke. Manje ngo December ngi 23, ngo September. We are celebrating the real African year. Who can stop us? And that will be the beginning of the liberation of a black person. If we can all unite based on our new year. Ubaba's, Ubaba's moving at a frequency in Khalilungena, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to contain myself. Uh, when you speak of uh, the great kingdom of Kermit and the United Kingdom, it's making me think of what the African Union was supposed to be. I think oh, Muammar Gaddafi and those guys were trying to do something like that within obviously the structure. Um, Okay. My, I know my, my mother celebrates her new year now in September over the past couple of years. And to mm. her, it was just it's spring. It's when, it's when nature sure, comes to sure, life. Sure. She hadn't even heard yeah, this sure. knowledge. So I think sure. How do you know? this is going to be beautiful sure. for her. She, she probably knows it. You know, she no, might know she it. She probably has sure. shared it with you. Yeah. Hey. But in your life, some of us, I guess, are manifestations of the past. And it doesn't matter what you say. The past is boiling inside you and wants to come out. Yes. And that's why he speaks with so, so much passion. That's why you speak with so much passion. Mm. That's why I am really, really passionate because of, mm. of some of these things. But uh, yeah, I'm going to contain myself because I, I just want to be educated oh. for today. Oh, on that, uh, you know, the organization, by Baby Bizani, the, 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 the organization of African OAU, yeah. the okay. first one before yeah. African Union. Remember, Guti, there's nothing good that came out of the structure. Mm. That structure was supposed to unite Africans, right? But now, remember, Guti, that structure was formed by people who had already agreed to preside over theft. Mm. Hey, because uh, all, all these people, they were presiding over armed republics 
on the continent, Republic yes. of Ghana, Republic of Nigeria, Republic of Guinea, Republic of South Africa, Republic of War, all republics are theft. So they then form this structure. Mm -hmm. And then the structure lays, these people, Hedama and Lazabo, who are the Europeans, who allowed them to preside over this structure. Yes. If you, like Ulumumba, why did they kill Lumumba? He was going against them in their own structure. Why did they kill all these people? Ukataf. Why was the Qatafi, you know, killed? Why was Sankara killed? Why? Because he was again going against this system. Mm. All over the continent is the same thing. So, E.E. E. Lendusa Organization of African Unity could never have liberated a black person because these are the people who neglected to call a Marcos. Mm. The minute you gain independence, remember what Umshaba, the land was taken from ki kings and queens. Mm. The minute you gain that independence, you need to call them. You know, um, uh, Makosi give us a fresh mandate. How do we move? Mm. Tina Sikona as the fighters. Mm. How should we structure all these things? But n that, nothing of that happened. It means what they were there to serve a white man's structure because they were perpetuating what will come out of the AU? Because uh, they changed it into AU. Did you see the facade that was happening? You know, La Pemitra and at some point. It was all over, but Julius Bell was up. But the North doesn't want to give the southern part, you know, of the continent the right to head this organization. Hmm. So we are born Aguti, it's about self-preservation. Yes. It has nothing to do about, you know, with Africa. And who is funding that, uh, you know, organization? Hmm. Can your enemy fund you to topple them? No, hmm. they get their funding from Abelungu, you know, a Europe. That is why Africa is still like this. That is why Minanawe, we are still uh, being jailed for uh, being in possession of gold and diamond hmm. in our own country. Yes, it's called illegal mining. That's it. How does that happen? It's because Umlungu said so. Our, politi our political leaders have become all oh, manching Elan and they fight over his kundla. No, no, no. In effect. No, eh, who's right? Who's right when I catch up? They become all oh, manching Elan and uh, they, they're all fighting for Uguti. Um, 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 master see me. Of course. I have a better philosophy, you know, to manage your assets, which is, uh, you know, the Republic of South Africa. It has nothing to because anybody who aspires to go into parliament, mm. you are saying you are better manager of True. the queen's, uh, you know, assets. That's exactly what you are saying because when you get there, you have to operate within the confines of this system. You can't do anything outside this system. Yingako amakes ayakala. Konamanje was Natal. They were talking about uh, we need to move away from constitutional democracy to parliamentary democracy. Do you understand? Because the constitution is Baba Mbela. <laughs> True. Hey, the constitution is not good for us. Yes. It must be tiered to that constitution. Everything has got to be informed by our culture and our way of life. But first, uh, yesterday in the news it came out, Uguti, the man who murdered Thomas Sankara, I think, has been found mm -hmm. guilty in place. Mm -hmm. So since we'll speak about Sankara, I yes. just wanted to mention that. Si, si Saba and Queen. Si Saba and Queen. Why are we so scared of the United Kingdom? It's funny that they call the United Kingdom and we talk about the United Kingdom of Kermit. Mm. Si Saba and Constitution. Because Why Si Saba? Sadly, when we said here we do Upu to Andile Mnitama, I asked him about the constitution. I, I, I stand to be corrected, but he said, no, we must respect the constitution. It's me who said that to you, sure. You said it? Yeah. Oh, my apologies. Si Saba ni Queen, Si Saba ni Constitution, Jogu Di Mele Si Tabule. Si Saba Gufa. Si Saba Gufa, remember. Of which is Tabule Alwa every day. No, no, no. Eh, uh, I mean, Uzwa. Eh, uh, what I know, Ngo Koko Betu. Yes. There are certain things that they will die for. Um, Saba. Mm. No mama ngani. Yes. They were prepared any time to lay their lives for that. Manje and the Nakona, remember Guti, if you are ignorant, Uguti, what death is. There's no death, Kesha. Fact. There's no death. It's just renewal. Umoya wako live forever. It's science. What does science say? Science says you can't destroy energy. 
It can only you be can't, transferred. You, you can't destroy energy. So, see as a renewer all the time. But manje, you can't then go to Sabugu Fawen. You would rather cower and they agree that you will be a perpetual slave. Even your children and your children will grow up being slaves. Why? Because you were not man enough. You were not like a Putin who's thinking of the future of the Russians. You know, good. no, no, no. If I don't sort this thing out, the future of the Russians is doomed. Vladimir. Hmm. That is why we are in this mess. And the young Africa, it's not only South Africa, the whole continent. Hmm. I need a discussion. As long as you don't have a discussion, Song is a Vumelana, Umshaba way to Sasa, we are Buya, and that's it. You don't need to be negotiating Nabelung Umshaba way. Did they negotiate when they took it? No. Manji, why should we negotiate? Tina is an Abandaba Mnyama as a collective. Singa Vuka City, to hell with the Uncle Lendole. I'm sorry to, to, to use that language. Nothing wrong, language. Nothing wrong with that language. Nothing wrong with that language. That's a siphon, Uncle Lendole. You know? It's our decision. But Manji, because of most of us, mm. we are still held by politics and religion. So concentrate on, the, on things that I have nothing. If I'm a non-land, I tell you that the person is a bad person. He is a bad person. He is a the most important uh, you know, goal of returning him. They are fighting for his Our own. internal you know, disputes are nothing compared to him. He is a bad person. So, melesi wiege go onke loko and be mature people. Si thangane as a bazali boluntu. You know, uh, parents of humanity, we need to unite and heal and lead this world. Not only Africa. Mshaba mm. wonke because wonku munti ngane yako. Ushuktin na uto wonku munti ngane yako. It's because uh, you gave birth to everybody. There wouldn't be umlungu China. But remember, Guti, the only female um, uh, that is capable of producing in China, India, Nongo, Mutum Yama. Why? Because of the mitochondria what DNA. It's a strand of a DNA oh. that gives that a black woman that ability. It's only an African, I see him, which is end. He says so. Um, why do you think black unity is needed? is my first question and then the second question because you're saying all these other races are our children and we have melanin how do you feel about the idea of us transferring our melanin into them through inter cross breeding as a as a crass way of putting it oh, black no. unity and then <coughs> cross breeding and in inverted commas oh no no that uh, that has happened you see um, uh, why we need unity we need to resolve challenges that are faced by black people as a collective. You mustn't come when uti know you belong to INCAT or when you belong to ANC. I belong to AFF. We have a better philosophy mm. for us to actually resolve. We need we need that collective you know action. And uh, that collective action, yo as us nigeza in respect. Look at Amandia. Look at Amajuda. Amajuda are united. They even Amajuta and Amandia, they even they have also ring fence their economy. Lava Banye Baja everything that is halal, Abanya Baja everything that is kosher. It means Guti Mali, you know, circulates amongst them. Remember again, Guti Bona combined, they are about seven million. We are more than forty million. Unity. The reason I'm asking about black unity, can Zulus on their own, the 18 million Zulus I think we have, can they not on their own do something for the black nation as the Jews have done for themselves? Oh, no, no. Uh, when I get, uh, you know, uh, this makes me so sad because before harm. You know, I made an appeal. You are the only person who can unite Umdom Nyama. Umdom Nyama Why? Because when already 
just equazulu natal only if it can be united it can change the whole of south africa the world the world when i get because that is so much power ese bantu but abantu don't realize that power because they are bombarded by political philosophies kuzinkatha kuze anc kuze efm bonke umuntu uzama ukusebenzela iphilosophy yakhe kanti kumele kube nephilosophy yomuntu omnyama and that can only be done by unity aid i mean you know look at amabuno amabuno are united amabuno amabuno remember kuti what happened mm. uh, when they took over from the british yes they made sure kuti aliko ibunu elilambayo those affects they made sure kuti ayiko indoda yebunu engenamsebenzi they risked by create ama funds about all false cars all these are funds that were supposed to support the africana brother bond brother bond to understand where is the africana today winning winning they are much greater than us mm. in terms of economy why because they had visionary and brave mm. leadership but, but they, they didn't the care part, they used it mm. that's it they didn't care what the british were saying yes they were there you know i'm going to empower the My africana people. so why does the same thing in zegi get why can't our government risk to make us say you know leave huh you are creating a fund to back up my entrepreneurs but you are giving me the same you know <laughs> um, 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 uh, conditions that i get from the bank Facts. what are you saying to me ungifuna collaterals bo wazi ukuthi ngiqala ekasi lapha new church i block collateral i have a great mind i have a great idea mm. i want to implement all i need from you is support that's what amapunu did so tina we've got to um, uh, learn from amajuda amandia amapunu ukuthi enzani in our own country that tina singayindi ngicela ukubuza futhi mkhulu there's a reason i'm asking this because i'm trying to build something on the side myself i see jewish people as white i see afrikaans people as white i see the british as white i don't see them as united white people that's why i was asking about black unity My question before we speak about the cross breeding question is is there a minimum number of united black people that are needed njoba sebenzisele example yakwazulu because if we're going to say we're going to wait for nigerians to unite with south africans unite with we'll wait forever and it will never no, happen no, no. so i'm asking about a minimum ukuthi magunga unite njengamabhunu kamphe aye 1 million yes. if 1 million black people can unite and have a unified belief mm. that can shift then we don't have to ask everyone we just focus on this Jengamapuna Kalipula Rapon City we are a collective of Sbu Sbu's yes. people yes. where they fund we're going to take over government and we're going to uplift all the people of Sbu mm. and then all the other black people obviously benefit from what happens with us I fully agree with you Kwazulu Natal should lead Omunye one of the kings Kwazulu Natal should lead that process that will then liberate us what we were saying Tina Lapemangwane and have been to a Pekville I've been to the Pekville most beautiful place yes is the most beautiful kuna manzi kuna kuna kunentaba nentaba kunomhlaba but udlala belulu i was saying undabezita if undabezita were to make a call ukuthi em a tina asisafunuka hamba ngalendlela sesifunuka hamba ngalendlela i'm saying to you all black people will support that to understand mm. there's got to be a starting point it has to start somewhere mm. but any indo which is a you know advantage for us all africans are here it's easy to unite africa that's true hey if we were to organize a, you know a, for a new year you know a new year festival is going to zenu les and invite all africans <laughs> just in all africans yes all africans will feel just the orlando's bo jeez Asikulumenge FNP African New, African New Year in September 23rd. In September 23 we sikwalise lapha lentuzo. That will be the liberation day for umuntu omnyama all over the world. Because from then sesiya mita continuously every year. Every year we plan. Ukuthi this is where we are. This is what we can achieve in this year. Just on on this year. Look at look at the power, the power that we yield that we have and we are not using as a leverage yes. we have the buying powers you know as a hustler both of you <laughs> we have the buying power 
if we can withdraw our support, Kulama products are below. Yes. It just falls. Fact. It was tested in the 80s. Maguti wa as We have that power. It means Maguti messing a unite. Sifumela no good. Oh, when I was going to fish oil. Usubu went a loco. Ukata went a loco. Songke, we are obliged. It's not a choice. We are obliged to support each other. Mukela Guti five years. It's more than enough. We spoke about Wall, uh, Black Wall Street, Oklahoma. Yes, yes. If yes. five years is more than enough for us to change this whole thing, just a unit in Jayum Domyama finish. And there's no Luisanga moon. At no, all. No, no, no. We're Tina. just voting with our land. That's it. Tina, Impiet, Eomoya, Siapasa. City, Ukupasa, Gwesi Sintaba, and Daba Yes. Do you understand? And the manager, Leo Unit, Leo is also liberator. Because <coughs> we'll be able to manage, say, reintroduce the proper content for your education system. Do you oh. understand? The proper yeah, content that's for that's economy. Mm. The, just the economy when I get Just pray it, Just pray I it. saw, hey, I saw at some point a Nati Bokale something here. The same. Yes, Bamba, I remember the same that. Mm. See, you be a national. Mm. As an example, came it bread. See, as a good let's all sing what represent Um Tom Yama and mm. the vision. Mm. Yom Tom Yama and the Hong Kong Tom Yama all over South Africa no longer buys any other bread. Yes. Leo Mali say circulate a giti. Guzi fish oil. Guzi mpupu. Guzi loku. Niti five years is more than enough. Mm. Would you say the youngsters are on the right track with this uh, entrepreneurship spirit that we are all pushing right now? Oh, no, no. Mina, yazi nyafuma. Intonje. The youngsters are by leader, are by lekai, yield spiritual content. Yes. Everything has got to be grounded by that. So that uh, see, 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 we must, we must, we must do away with the greed. Yes. To understand, kumele sends this into why? Because we want to create harmony, you know, amongst all of us. So that uh, you know, remember, guti mesitanga niswa is into zenyam, Yes. We've seen it several times. So manje the entrepreneurial spirit in Idanje Sifanele Nalomoya the spirituality said. So that if we tell Ibambe in no time. Because we're operating from a, a place of uh, lack instead of a place of abundance. That's why we have greed and we fight amongst in each other. Okay. In Jalo, that is why even our politicians are making wrong decisions mm. because of Imali case. See Lambega Kulu. Manje anybody who gets an opportunity, Uguta Sondele, Pamguayo. I know Mkondo Au Seko, Umkondo Uguti, I'm doing it for black people. Yes. Because as long as Guna 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 forty nine million of people, let's say one million of mm. black people are successful. As long as Guna forty nine million in poverty. You are not successful. Do you understand? Correct. Melesi develop a spirit to go when I go up, I need to lift. As I rise. As I rise when I when I care. In that way, Isowetu. Isowetu has got enough people for us to transform Isowetu mm. to be better than Sentin. Fact. Just the money that's circulating Ogwamanji, all the money in Soweto, even the stores, the Gamaponya and everywhere. The stores are owned by white people and people who don't live in Soweto. Facts. So if we can come up to Nani, na youth, you need to deal with the situation. So that uh, Imali circulates also in these other communities. It circulates more than 10 times mm. before it leaves the community, Yamachuta Namandi. For us, half a percent. Mm. Yangena is gone. Yeah. So how are we going to develop? How, how, how are your children or your grandchildren grow, going to grow up in money? Mm. Like, uh, you know, the other, you know, races in our own country. It's like Tina Sitalo, Lintupego. It's not like that. Sitalo, Lintupego, it's not like that. Sitalo, Lintupego, it's again. The, the question on crossbreeding or passing our melanin into other races to try and bring them closer to us. And then the second question, as we spoke about politics and the political system, do you not have a similar concern with the money system, which is controlled by the same people, that as soon as you jump into the money system, we don't control money. We might end up running certain small economies like a Soweto, but if the money is still controlled by the South African Reserve Bank, the London Bank, the, London, the Central Bank in London, and whoever runs it, the Rothschilds, the Medici's, whatever the case may be, 
are we not going to find ourselves in the same space where we now have money but it's become worthless like what happened in Zimbabwe? Um, uh, 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 the crossbreeding one, please don't forget. Oh, the I like it very much. I mean, uh, crossbreeding when Akesha has been happening, you know, ever since they uh, were colonized. Remember, Guti, um, uh, these uh, colonizers even raped our people. Mm. You know, for us to produce another race, what we call a Makala today. Do you understand? So that crossbreeding has been happening. And I wouldn't understand, Guti, why would we crossbreed because it's Funukba Sondes Agiti? You know, oh, Shepstein, a bombizu, some table. Yes. Then Natal. Theophilus. Yeah. They took. It was the Asakai, and I'm mm. There's no reparation. You know, uh, reparation, uh, what happened to that discussion? Ufunukum Jala and Joguti, Singatula. Labandu Laba, they took trillions mm. that belong to black people. Trillions. Akmelanga Loma Libui. Amachu Tenzin. Hey. Even in America, Japanese were, repara they, they were given reparations. That's it. So why, Tina, we don't... It means, Uguti, <laughs> when they stop that discussion, yeah. they are saying, Uguti, we don't care about you. Just go and start wherever you start yes. as a black person. Going back to that issue of crossbreeding, and you look at countries like America, uh, for me, I I've got a problem... And I, I want to know from you and your opinion as well. And, uh, and as you are sharing your opinion, I also want to know what, why do you think 194 that wasn't dealt with, as in separating our society between colored South Africans and black South Africans? Because according to me, this is my opinion, these are the same people. These people are all black. I'm a colored. Well, that's according to me. These people are all oh, black. No, no, they sure. just happen to be light skinned no, because no, they're sure. mixed race, yes. But for me, they're black. We are no, all black. I, 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 fully, I fully agree. Um, uh, uh, I'm a colored black. And uh, remember, Gutitina, Singapandaba Miyama, we've always regarded them as black people. Yes. Yibo, who wanted to associate more with the white people. But, Yibo, but, who were rejected. But I know. Th that is something that was worked on us. Yes. And, and, and them as well. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Mm. I us. For me, colors and us we were the same. Thing. We one thing with we black people. Thing. But why do, you, why do you think the ANC didn't deal with that issue in 1994? Well, uh, it, 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 it is. We are all black. Yes, we are all black. The ANC, they dealt with that by including, you know, leaders from the colored communities, uh, you know, not only colors, Namandia. You know, they were accommodated uh, by the ANC. You'll find that uh, there's no structure of the ANC that doesn't have a Makalat. It, I, I it think was what, I think, implementation I of I think that. what Usbusis was asking is why did they not dismantle the colored term oh. and incorporate them into black? Mm. Oh no, yes. they couldn't have. You can't uh, dismantle something that people hold dear. A Makalat, uh, some of them, uh, you know, or majority of them, they don't see themselves as black. You know, they want to hold on to that. Mm. But uh, Tina, as black people, those are our brothers and sisters. Mm. We have no problem with them. You know, Melenje Baze Kaya, if Melenje Usigo Luabo, Sibenze Lusigo Nje finish. We are one with them. There's no, there's no discussion about that. But do you think it's something that still can happen in the future? Oh, no, no. It's something that should happen. Mm. It's something that should happen when Akesha, because Abaze Nzanga Guzitola Gulesasim. You know, it's not of their own making. You know, Oguti, how does the erase abo ikale ganjan? You know, erase amakalat. So abasenza anga wena kesa. You know, remember washumatu, washumatu uyelo. Um, but he okale osungule. You know, um, uh, uh, the colored, uh, you know, uh, people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when zagala guti angazi noma ufanribek. If I'm not mistaken, I can be corrected. Ufanribek wange nu ashumatu. Mm. You know, mm. Do you understand? So imagine Ubushungu Lobobo and Zega Gomunye or Kokobit. We who was the Ashumat who was Umutua. Do you understand? Nalendole, you know, the Africaners who want to tell us good here in the south, Boguna Batwa. Tina seeing Ghana's Abatwa. If Ungaya Lel and do the Kemit, Northern Kemit, Egypt, Uzo Tola would teach those the local, Balbiza would to pass. Who pays to move to? Do you understand? Yes. It then signifies good to all of us as black people. See, we are united somehow. We linked. Sing up, Abbas Albe to a bar to. Do you understand? 
So, man, you um, long will then come with the confusion. You could hey, say, those are our parents. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you understand? Yes. So, mele gube na leo understanding and na leo unity between ourselves. Nama, you know, with the colored people. Mina, you know, let him lay even in the struggle. We didn't like this term. Yeah. We didn't like this term. You know, our comrades, the colors, whatever. We are all black. I've heard, I've heard African Americans, what's called African Americans, black Americans saying that Africans and African leaders have never come to America to come and say, please come home. Sure, sure. You're welcome to it's come true. back home. You know, they've said it as a joke. Sometimes they've said it very seriously that why should we go back to Africa? Because we've never been asked to no, sure. come back home. Here no, are ships, sure. here are aeroplanes will no. fly you. And I think no, in sure. the same spirit, maybe at some point, those who are passionate about this need to go to colored people and say, guys, Whenever you're ready, please come. We'll slaughter for you. No, sure, we'll sure. give you a new name. You don't have to be January, no, sure, September, sure, October. Sure, These sure. names that don't mean anything. Sure, sure. We'll incorporate you sure. into our families and bring you back sure, home sure. so that you don't sure. feel this no, whatever no, it is. Hey. Because, mm. So I'm saying big up to countries like Ghana who have been yeah. busy with such initiatives over the past few years. Oh, I've no, seen that. Inviting sure, Americans sure. over, it's sure, like, you know, sure. exposing them it's to so the Ghanaian culture. It's something beautiful. It's Very so beautiful. Touching. We it, need to do that. He in dog, when I catch up, but you see, he's over Lola, messing a banjo, he can Remember, Guti, I'm a Judah, mm. in the US, in the UK, when it is the Jewish New Year, they all celebrate. It doesn't matter good where, you Japan, where you are. Where you are. The Muslims if have the same. Kaya kukil, we are mm. It doesn't matter where. Mm. So, the calendar is the best thing for us to use. Melasi promote the calendar African to calendar. unite all black people. So, so that, gala, you know, people can order it from gekmovement.org. You know, www.gekmovement.org. You know, the what African. Uh, African, uh, African Royal Color. It's just a pity, as in Kochi, and I thought I'll bring a copy here so that we can show people. It's there. I mean, I'd like for you to come back the next time. Yes. I think today was a beautiful, beautiful introduction for you to meet um, yes, my young man here, o Upenyo. Mm -hmm. And I don't like calling him my young man, like I'm standing here. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the fact that this platform has been created just for us to learn. Because I just hang out with him here, we have sure. conversations, Beautiful. and those are people who join us, and they've no, got sure. comments. And sure. how we lead our program is, we read the comments what they want, sure. and then we implement it. No, sure. Even yourself, it wasn't according to our yes, doing that yes. you are here. It's them no, who sure. kept on writing your name there. Yes, yes. So we would love to have you back again. Okay. And Kati, Obamanje, I think in Funuguti see Pakela Obamanje, because I can imagine some of you guys <laughs> the overwhelming, <laughs> <laughs> overwhelming information information overflow sure. some of you guys yes you are probably exposed to this type of um content but thank you so much guys for tuning in uh, i would like for you to commit that you'd love to you would come back in the future. no uh, not only am i committee but i would also love uguti nanini commit towards the african new year May 23 september that is the commitment i would love from both of you let us work towards uniting African people in a practical way. I mean, uh, you know, black people don't have their new year. I mean, I'm a China man, everybody are coming during the year. But it's in Abanigas, Bendao. Abanigas, Bekalenda have nothing. Please commit, guys. Please commit. No, no, I, I fully agree. Chinese, Chinese have a new year, the Muslims have the Islamic, the, the Jews, as you say. I believe even white people in Africa yes. would love an African no, New no, Year no, in September. Sure. Jeez, sure. I know. Minang ya vumam cool. Tegozin, tegozin. Ah, that was beautiful, guys. Guys, tell us more. Who else do you want? Um, we're loving how you guys are building the show. We're loving the names that you're suggesting. We're seeing the names such as um, Musi Maimani. You guys are asking for him. You guys are asking for entertainers. You're asking for sports people. You're asking for black conscious people. You're throwing in names like Abu, um, Dr. Loazilu Shaba. I'm looking forward to that oh, one. You're oh. throwing names like Abu Sis Puti Mahanyele. You're, thro you're throwing all sorts of different names. We will pull our strings and make it happen that we deliver what you guys are asking for. Your last words? Togozani, uh, black unity. Black unity, black unity for solving all our problems. Togozani.
See you guys on the next video. God bless. We'll see you guys on the next video. And don't forget our beautiful party. We're launching my Ruapula on the 30th of April. We are also launching my brand new NFTs on the 30th of April. We are also having a food market. Where is it going to be happening? At our farm. It's called the Homegrown Farm in Centurion. Just email. If you are a foodpreneur, you'd like to have a stall at our farm on the 30th of, of April. Get in touch with Nick. That is NIC at leadership 2020.co. And it's a family day. I'm going to be bringing my kids. There's going to be jumping castles there. So parents can come with kids as well because we're going to have a beautiful um, site here in Ghana. And then we're going to have our own site, the site, live music, food, getting together. And we're also going to be broadcasting the Hustlers Corner virtual Mkuku in the morning live in front of all of you guys. Once again, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. This is the Hustlers Corner.